to check in now with our Rob Olson, who's also been out here all day, getting a feel for the fan experience. Rob? <laughs> well, the fan experience is always good on opening day. I've been to a lot of these. You know, it was 48 degrees announced temperature at the time of opening pitch. It was nice in the sun. It's a little colder in the shade, which is probably why so many people are in the truly on deck club up here uh, right over the plaza. But it doesn't matter what the weather is. This is opening day and people show up in force. few traditions in sports for the opening day sisters <laughs> quite so ingrained is this one i've been to every home opener except for 2020 the must go to game with the must bring things like the crypt keeper i've been bringing them ever since hey, good luck charm not really but <laughs> he's here anyway or the glove worn on your head last year i took a ball to the face <laughs> You did? I did. And I didn't get the ball because the person next to me stole it. <laughs> and it's not just thirsty fans who can brag about opening day legacy. This is my 43rd Twins opener. 34 is ready. Finally, the magic hour of 1 p.m. approached to the glee of those who've been waiting outside for hours. Target Field is our happy place. We get in fights and we come to Target Field and we are out of our fights. <laughs> Open them up! Welcome to Target Field! When those gates open for the very first time of a season. The happy place. It's not just a rite of spring, it is a fresh start when baseball fans remain full of hope. Welcome. This guy's ready. Oh, I'm definitely ready. It's gonna be a win today. Where you can display your thrill and fandom with abandon, not care what you paid for that vodka sundae. Alcohol and ice cream together. Alcohol and ice cream together should be breakfast. When you get to skip school, because this is a learning experience of its own. That's his favorite subject is math, so he should be able to learn a lot on this. Yeah. We'll have him keep the box score. Oh, yeah, we definitely will. The only thing that really matches April in a ballpark is October in a ballpark. A lot of fans plan to be here then, but really relish being here now. Happy opening day. And a happy opening day it's really been. A lot of fans are really thrilled. Uh, and these uh, thousands of these given away uh, for the fans coming in. A lot of them in use today uh, outside. Certainly a popular item uh, and a very, very fun day as always. But again, high hopes that we'll be back here well into October this time around. For now, we're going to send it back to the studio. Uh, we'll be back out here in Target Field in a little bit. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you so much, Rob. Well, after all the ceremony and pageantry of opening day, there is a game also being played right now. From the first pitch to the final swing, sports director Jim Rich has you covered. Jim, how does the team feel about being back at home? Sweet home. Well, they are pretty excited to be here, BC, because you're right. It's a long time from October since today to come back here. It was like winter had came. Oh, I guess that's what happens here in Minnesota, right? But they went to spring training. They were in Florida, then opened up the, se the season with two series on the road, first in Kansas City, then in Milwaukee, and then finally it was back here at Target Field. But really what kicks off the baseball season for everyone is the gate openings. And we've got video of that. Number 14, Kent Herbeck, opening up his gate for the fans to open the baseball season. And Herbie now has done this all 15 years that the target field has been open. And it's become a rite of passage, a rite of spring. And the fans really enjoy meeting their legends, their superstars like Kent in person. He pauses, takes pictures, high fives everybody as they come in. And for the ball players that we talked to pregame, they said they can really feel the vibe, the energy back here at home with the fans behind them. Oh, it'll be awesome just to be back in front of our home fans. They've been waiting the whole offseason to get us, and uh, we're finally back. So we're looking forward to, you know, a long season that's going to be great and a successful one. It's another day. Obviously, we're home, so it's good to be home and get back in front of our fans. Uh, but treating it like this would be the start of the season is definitely not, not the way we should go about it. And I don't think anybody else in here would think that way about it either. Um, so it's all about us going out there, treating it the same and just enjoying ourselves.